I've been farming here for about uh, 15 years. My family have farmed here since 1937, so I'm the fourth generation that's farmed on the land here. For me, it's, all, it's just been something that naturally happened and I you know, had it in the blood and always wanted to, to follow in my father's footsteps. It's a great way of life and uh, you know, producing food is something that um, is really dear to our heart. I, I think farmers, farmers understand and accept that we are going to be judged on our environmental credentials and that is quite right. I have a bit of a view that we as farmers need to make sure that we hand over our environment in a better situation or as good as when we inherited it. There's a lot of farms that aren't making any profit at all at this point um, and I think that would be happening right the way across Europe. So that is, is, it, is a real struggle because sometimes you lose your motivation when you know that what you're doing is actually very unlikely to make a return. That's um, really challenging. I need access to the tools in the toolbox to use them on the right day in the right place. So if I've got septoria in my wheat crop, I know that I need to go and spray that crop to maximise the potential. They're pretty basic things that we're doing. We have to, we're all qualified to apply the products. We're using the minimum doses we can to achieve what we need to. If I wake up in the morning with a headache, I wouldn't think twice about taking a paracetamol. And yet when we're out spraying a crop because it has a disease, it's, people think that that's completely wrong. We need to go and try and get a balance where people understand that what we're doing is actually about maximising food production. It's allowing people to have access to food and it's not endangering the countryside. The, the challenges facing our business at the moment with particularly weed pressure but also disease pressure means that if I tried to go without pesticides tomorrow then our output would probably halve. If we all took the decision to, to turn or, or go organic then food prices would have to rise because the production would fall. Now that's okay for the wealthy but what happens to those who can't afford food? I wholeheartedly believe that the job we're doing is environmentally friendly, it's sustainable and I love producing food. But the connection between the public and the farmer has been lost over generations. And when I think back 50, 60 years, half the village here at Harvest would have been working on the farm in some way or another. Whereas now nobody in the village is, is involved with our harvest. So they're losing that connection with where food comes from. And unless we can recreate a connection with people appreciating food, it's going, we're always going to be producing commodities that aren't valued. So it's incredibly important to me that the public understand what farmers are doing, where their food comes from, and actually that we take pride in producing a healthy product.